Hey, welcome back. 909 here on your Tuesday. Just in time for Halloween, a movie based on a local legend is getting ready to start filming. Candlewood, which I think is a perfect name, first of all, perfectly, follows a family who moves to New Milford, but they get more than they bargained for in a haunting new film. Yeah, so to tell us more about the movie. And amid the pandemic, with talk of a possible vaccine still several months away, residents debate riding it out or leaving. Another pair of deaths in New Milford when a couple apparently fell accidentally from the top of Lover's Leap. Tragedy struck last night in New Milford, this time to another transplant family from New York City. Three? Oh my gosh. That's awesome. What a great trailer. Unbelievable. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> okay. You ready to run? I'm ready to run. Okay. Well, to tell us more about the movie, we were joined by Mike Furman, the producer and director of Candlewood, along with Victoria Flores, the executive producer, and George Weezer, the cinematographer. Wow, what a trailer. New Milford, born and raised. That's right. New Milford, born and bred. Did stints in Georgia, L.A., New York, but there's no place like home. Exactly. So That's we're back to I make feel. a movie. There, yeah, you there you go. Thank you, all three of you, for being with us. I know. Thank this you. Is incredible. This is super incredible. exciting. What a great trailer. Thank it's you. got me hooked in. I'm ready right? to see it. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely go watch the movie. So what, is, what, what inspired the movie? Movie. Well, that's a great, that's a very this good one. question. Um, I'm a former Upper West Sider 20 years and then moved to New Milford uh, full time during the pandemic. Okay. And just learning about all the rich history in New Milford and all the scary stories that are actually based on <laughs> some true events and some urban legend, I thought, hey, let's make a movie about it. I love it. Well, talk to us about the, talk to us about the legend because there's a lot behind this and some historical and some probably movie magic. been embellished a little bit over the We're last using couple using hundred years. Using our artistic license. Yeah, a, yeah. A little bit, a little bit. So, yeah. uh, the legends of Lover's Leap in New Milford um, based on an indigenous, um, a young indigenous girl um, from the Skadikok or Weontanag yeah, tribe, Skadikok. the Skadikok Nation. Um, and uh, Lilanona was her name. Mm -hmm. Lake Lilanona was named after her um, right at Lover's Leap. And um, we're, we're basically taking this urban legend and kind of turning it into the impetus of a haunting of some folks uh, yes. who, without spoiling too much, who move up from the city uh, to the countryside. And, um, you know, they're they're really they they kind of just get haunted and eventually you know bad things are going to happen. Bad things are gonna yeah, happen. Yeah. Yeah. It, it is a horror <laughs> film after all, right? right. And, and George, you're responsible for the cinematography, co-directing and shooting. Oh, good, with Mike. I'm very excited about that, and so excited to be shooting in this beautiful area. Isn't it gorgeous? When the leaves are going to be in high color. Oh, oh my gosh! Right. So from yes. A visual standpoint, it's going to be stunning. Yeah, that's. And I'm true. so excited to be actually shooting at Lover's Leap, and um, we're like, how are we going to? Keep? We're going to slap the camera up there and actually <laughs> and, and do it. And you're going to yeah. do it. And yeah. do it. Awesome. Shoot it at the perfect time of day, and you know, I'm super excited for doing that end of it as well as you know, as well as doing all the. Uh, now the you, gore. you've got a uh, world class feature film on an independent budget. Oh yeah. So how how, how does that work? And do you still need funding? Uh, yeah, so I mean, the, the funding Always. never stops. Always. Always. Never stops. Here we go. If, yes. if you didn't know, making movies is kind of expensive. <laughs> right. a, a, a little bit. Um, and, um, you know, the way that we're able to do this, we have a great crew, a lot of locals. There are a ton of really seasoned um, feature film veterans in the area. Yeah. So we're bringing in a ton of locals. Uh, obviously, George responsible for making this thing look absolutely stunning. So just the way that he shoots, I mean, you've been filming longer than I've been alive. Pretty much. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. George, he just threw you under a <laughs> little bit. <laughs> Not quite a long. Right off Lover's Leap, I think. Such a right Lover's yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Such, a the movie. Yeah. 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 Such a seasoned veteran, though. And uh, we've been working together for like eight years and yep. have a great relationship um, to co-direct this thing. And, uh, and a wonderful cast. A wonderful cast. So everything is coming together. And the fact that we're doing it locally, like, we obviously know people. We have some connections. We can do things a little cheaper than theoretically, you know, if Hollywood were to move in. Um, a yeah. lot of donations, yeah. a lot of yeah. kind of everything to make yeah. sure this happens, including 
a kickoff and an incredible successful crowdfunding campaign right. that we allowed all the locals to be able to be involved in. That's, oh, that's awesome. And they crushed it for us. Yeah, we, that's awesome. They showed up for us. And it this is amazing. the first Latina produced horror film? Is it's that right? It's the first la uh, Latina led production of a horror film franchise, that's which means because it's a trilogy. There's going to be, there's gonna be, th there's gonna there's be two more. There's three movies that we're anticipating for Wonderful. this. This, this is, is the first, the second, this and is the so third. Exciting. Will I be waiting in the lobby of the movie theater waiting for the thing to be over? Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. And if you want to go to the theater, the Indiegogo, you can buy tickets to the premiere. Well, yes. So there you go. Yeah, let's get, get, let's get you a link, first of all, to the fundraising page for Candlewood here. It's up on our app or WFSB.com. Everything is up on your screen. Indiegogo link, on as we just talked about. You can also check out the progress on Instagram at Candlewood Film. It's at Candlewood Film, mm -hmm. just to be clear. And then the premiere party right here in New Milford. Right. Yeah, right, absolutely. right. So that'll be a blast. Yeah, right at Bank Street Theater, historic Bank Street Theater, 100 year old movie theater. There's not many of those around. Um, right in the, the heart of New Milford. It's, it's, it's honestly, this is the fourth feature film being shot in New Milford within 18 months. That's like, terrific. it's Wonderful. becoming the new Hollywood, right? Yeah. We can't Very thank you awesome. enough for being with us. Thank we wish you. you continued success. Good luck. Good I can't luck. wait to see the film. Yeah, I can't wait to thank see you it. Guys. Great. Thank you. Thanks for coming on. All right.